Today, we're diving into the life of actress Ava Gardner. Ava was a Hollywood icon known for her beauty and talent. What made her stand out in the industry? What qualities do you think made her memorable? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. And stay tuned because we've got some funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up. Keep watching. Exploring the world of classic cinema unveils the timeless allure of a celebrated actress. Delving into her filmography offers insight into the cinematic era she thrived in. One standout movie is The Killers, a captivating film noir that showcases her presence. Another gem is Magambo, where she shines alongside notable stars. And on the beach, her talent illuminates a post-apocalyptic setting, delivering a poignant portrayal. Fans also admire her complexity in The Night of the Iguana, enriching the narrative. For a lighter touch, the barefoot Contessa offers a glimpse into Hollywood's glamorous world. Additionally, The Sun Also Rises is a classic adaptation with engaging chemistry. To explore her cinematic journey, these movies serve as an excellent starting point. From film noir to drama, her range as an actress is apparent in each role she undertakes. In a famous movie, three big stars played important roles and got paid a lot of money. One of them was from North Carolina and was known for her amazing acting that kept people hooked. She grew up in a small town, but became famous for playing characters like Maxine Falk and Maria Vargas. Once, she had to learn a tough dance routine for a film. Even though there were technical problems during filming, she kept her cool and danced perfectly, following the rhythm of the other dancers. She was really good at acting and always worked hard, which made her stand out in the movie world. Her story goes beyond just acting. It shows how determination and love for your work can make you successful. Her performances were so good that people from different times liked them. She inspired many people to follow their dreams of acting. Through her acting, she made emotional moments feel real and became a part of movie history. Her influence is still felt today, showing how powerful stories and actors can be. Her achievements show that if you work hard and believe in yourself, you can make a lasting impact no matter where you come from. So, her story is a reminder to never give up on your dreams and keep chasing them. In a scene from a movie, she played Mary with a strong presence. Stepping off a train, she walked toward a house and slammed the door shut, but it didn't close all the way. Her early schooling was limited. By the mid-1940s, she had only read two books the Bible and Gone with the Wind. But as time went on, she made up for it by learning more about literature and history with great interest. In December of 2022, she was recognized by Turner Classic Movies as their Star of the Month for her 100th birthday. They honored her for her memorable roles in movies, highlighting her timeless beauty and exceptional talent. Throughout her career, she held audiences' attention with her magnetic presence and unforgettable performances. She became well known for her Hollywood glamour and acting skills inspiring many actors and movie fans. Looking back on her life, she stayed humble despite becoming famous in the movie industry. Her grace, strength, and commitment to acting made her beloved by fans worldwide. Beyond acting, she faced life's challenges with determination and grace. As her life story comes to a close, she leaves a lasting impression on the history of movies, remembered fondly by those who admired her. Her influence continues to inspire people to chase their dreams with passion and perseverance. And so, the tale of her life continues to inspire, reminding us of the lasting impact of talent, resilience, and determination. Her name remains a bright spot in movie history, guiding future actors and filmmakers for years to come. In a movie filled with famous actors, one performer stood out for her exceptional talent. The film had a great cast, including five actors who were up for Oscars, and it caught the attention of many people. While filming, there was a situation where someone made up a quote from one of the actors. Even though the director faced some challenges, the actress's presence brought a lot of attention to the movie. Both films showed how good she was at acting, even though there were some interesting things that happened off camera during her time on set. On the busy set, she had a special charm that made everyone notice her. Her acting was really deep and detailed, making a big impact on the film and making it even better. Even though there were some rumors going around, she stayed calm and handled everything really well. The actress was really good at what she did and she made every scene interesting to watch. Just being there seemed to make everyone else act better too. Even though there were a few problems, she never stopped working hard, and everyone who got to work with her remembers her as someone really special. In the history of movies, what she did is proof of how talented she was and how much she loved acting. When the movie ended, 
and the lights went down, people couldn't forget her performance. She was like a bright light in a world full of talented people, and she's still remembered as someone who inspired others, all thanks to her amazing acting skills. In her early career, she appeared uncredited as a canteen dancer in Two Girls and a sailor taking on two minor roles. She briefly spoke as one of the showgirls and later appeared in a dream sequence as a fashion model. MGM loaned her to Universal Studios for One Touch of Venus, where she portrayed Venus. Universal commissioned a life-size statue of the goddess, which initially caused controversy due to its nudity. Following an altercation between co-stars Robert Walker and Howard Duff, she left the studio halting filming, and on the beach she played Moira Davidson. While most scenes were filmed in Australia, the motor racing scene took place in California and was filmed by Hollywood cameraman Daniel Fatt. The rest of the film was captured by Italian cameraman Giuseppe Rotono, potentially at her request due to their previous collaboration. Rotono's work in the U.S. expanded significantly in the following decades. In the early 1990s, a well-known actor stumbled upon a Dublin restaurant named Judge Roy Beans. Intrigued, they entered and shared that they had portrayed Judge Roy Bean. Notably, they pointed to a framed poster on the wall featuring another famous actor, declaring, and she played Lily. During the filming of a certain movie, two actors marked their first wedding anniversary. Despite being short on cash, one of them gifted the other a ring. However, it turned out that the recipient ended up footing the bill later on. In another film, two actors shared the screen. While one had top billing in their previous collaboration, this time the other took the lead. These anecdotes provide glimpses into the cinematic journey of these actors, their connections with industry peers, and the nuances of their on-set experiences. Ava Gardner surprised director Mark Robson by insisting on doing her own stunt work in the film Earthquake, including dodging blocks of concrete and heavy steel pipes. Toward the end of The Killers, when Jim Reardon arranges to meet Kitty Collins outside a nightclub, he stands on the street in front of the Green Cat nightclub, waiting for her to drive up. On the wall behind him is a poster, beginning with Sir Arthur Hilton presence. Arthur Hilton, the film's editor, was an Englishman. In On the Beach, the film cast includes one Oscar winner Gregory Peck and three Oscar nominees Fred Astaire, Ava Gardner, and Anthony Perkins. In the realm of classic Hollywood, one individual stands out for her memorable performances and unwavering resolve. She seamlessly transitioned between roles, leaving an indelible mark on audiences worldwide. In one particular film, she portrayed Moyer Davidson, displaying a talent that captivated viewers. Sharing the screen with the legendary Fred Astaire, their chemistry was palpable, creating memorable moments. Another notable role showcased her versatility as an actress, embodying Baroness Natalie Ivanov. During filming, an incident regarding her privacy highlighted her commitment to maintaining control over her personal space. In another movie, she embraced a role with grace and elegance alongside other notable actors, making the production a cinematic gem. Throughout her career, she demonstrated not only her acting abilities, but also her assertiveness in the face of unwanted intrusions. A lifelong Democrat, she was known not only for her acting, but also for her insights into the personal lives of her co-stars. In the film The Gambo, she starred alongside Clark Gable and Grace Kelly. During the shoot in London, he and Kelly had a discreet relationship that ended abruptly. Seeking advice, Kelly turned to her co-star, who warned her about Gable's tendency to conquer and then move on. Despite this, she agreed to appear in Earthquake primarily to spend time in Los Angeles. Her decisions often intertwine personal desires with professional opportunities. This narrative reflects the multifaceted nature of Hollywood's golden era, where relationships and career aspirations were often delicately balanced.